On the campaign trail, presidential candidate Ron Paul brought his presidential campaign to Twin Falls today. Eyewitness News reporter Jake Taylor was there to see why Paul thinks he is the right choice for Idaho. Now, Twin Falls isn't a usual campaign stop for presidential candidates, but the Ron Paul campaign thinks this strategy will help him win the nomination and eventually the election. You know, I, I want to be president, but I don't want to be president to run your life. I don't think I can. Crowds of avid supporters showed up at Twin Falls High School's Roper Auditorium to hear Ron Paul speak. Congressman Paul has run for president before, but this time he says something's different. He says people aren't trusting Washington to fix their problems. Uh, what's happening in Washington is in many ways irrelevant because they're not doing the right things. They're doing the wrong things. But where the really great things that are happening are outside of Washington. The people are waking up and they're sick and tired of what we're getting. True to his reputation, the Texas congressman called for huge cuts to the federal government. Paul promised the crowd if he becomes president, the troops will come home as fast as the ships can get there. He said he would end the Federal Reserve and take a step back from the war on drugs. He says he used to talk about how the national debt would be a problem for the next generation. But I've quit saying it and quit emphasizing it because I think we're the next generation. I think we have to face our problems. When he finished, supporters swarmed Ron Paul, asking the presidential candidate to sign books, hats, dollar bills, even a baby. After the event, Paul told me he believes his ideas of small government will resonate strongly with the kind of people who live in Idaho. But I think Idaho has always been that way. I think they're a very independent spirit here and, and self-reliance. I think it's cultural as well as political. But Ron Paul isn't the only presidential candidate stopping by the gem state. Mitt Romney is coming to Boise tomorrow. Reporting in Twin Falls, I'm Jake Taylor. Idaho Republicans will have the chance to vote for their nominee coming up March 6th as part of Super Tuesday. Meanwhile, Mitt Romney and Rick Sanders